Hey Susie, what are you doing? I'm making fairy bread. What's that? It's bread with butter and sprinkles. Kids in Australia eat it on their birthdays. Oh, why are you making it? I just want to taste it. Do you want to try? No thanks, I prefer birthday cake. In Chinese culture, people often eat noodles called chang shou mian on their birthdays. Why do they do that? The noodles are long, so people eat them and hope for a long life. Interesting. In some countries, people pull the ears of the birthday boy or girl. It's a wish for a happy life. That's fun. And in Mexico, kids hit a piñata. When it breaks, the candy inside falls out. There are many fun ways to celebrate a birthday. There are many ways to celebrate a birthday. Eating birthday cake is one common way. In Australia, kids eat fairy bread on their birthdays. Fairy bread is a slice of bread with butter and rainbow sprinkles on it. In China, people eat long life noodles, or chang shou mian. On their birthdays, children in Mexico hit a piñata. When it breaks, candy falls out for everyone to take. In some countries, friends or family pull the birthday boy or girl's ears. This is a wish for a happy life. Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Talk in English. My name is Garrett and we are so glad to have you with us. We sure are. Hey there friends, I'm Pauline and we've got a culture lesson for you today. That's right. Today we are celebrating birthdays. Oh, there are many special days during the year, but today we're talking about one special kind. Yeah, there are fun holidays like Christmas and Easter that many people celebrate. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about a holiday that almost everyone on Earth celebrates, their birthday. Ooh, that sounds interesting. But Pauline, I think before we start today's lesson, we should talk about what that word celebrate means. Hmm, good idea. When you celebrate a special day, it means you do things to show that that day is important. Yeah, each holiday has different ways to celebrate. Let's think of an example. How about Christmas? Oh sure, many people celebrate Christmas. They decorate their house to celebrate this holiday. They may have a Christmas tree, Christmas lights, or other special decorations. You can also celebrate a holiday by eating special foods. Like in the U.S., we celebrate Thanksgiving in November. And there are many special foods for that holiday. People eat turkey, sweet potatoes, and even delicious sweet pies. But how do people celebrate their birthdays? Well, there are many ways, and that's what today's lesson is all about. So it's time to jump in now and learn our keywords with Sonia. Hello. James 说自己比较喜欢生日蛋糕。I prefer birthday cake. 名词 cake 就是蛋糕。他提到华人文化中，寿星过生日通常会吃长寿面。In Chinese culture, people often eat noodles called 长寿面 on their birthdays. 名词 noodle 就是面条。Susie 说，在有些国家呢，会拉寿星的耳朵。In some countries, 
People pull the ears of the birthday boy or girl. 名词 ear 就是耳朵。他补充，拉耳朵呢，是为了祝福寿星拥有幸福的人生。It's a wish for a happy life. 名词 wish 就是希望、愿望。在墨西哥，孩子会敲打皮纳塔。Susie 说 ，And in Mexico. Kids hit a piñata. 动词 hit 就是击打。Hey, Susie, what are you doing? I'm making fairy bread. What's that? It's bread with butter and sprinkles. Kids in Australia eat it on their birthdays. Oh, why are you making it? I just want to taste it. Do you want to try? No thanks. I prefer birthday cake. In Chinese culture, people often eat noodles called 长寿面 on their birthdays. Today, James and Susie are talking in the jungle cafe. James sees that Susie is making something interesting, so he asks her, "What are you doing?" Susie is making something called fairy bread. <laughs> That's a fun name, huh? It is, friends. Fairy bread is a special treat. It's bread with butter and sprinkles. What kind of bread is it made with?、Mm, I think it's just slices of white bread. You take the bread and then put some butter on the top. Okay, that sounds. Kind of boring. <laughs> well, yes, bread with butter isn't very exciting, but fairy bread is special. It also has sprinkles on the top. Ah,、oh, okay, that is more fun. Sprinkles are sweet things you can put on top of cake, and they're very colorful. But you don't have to put them on cake. You can put them on bread too. Susie says that kids in Australia enjoy fairy bread on their birthdays. So then, why is Susie making it? Hey, that's what James says. He asks, "Why are you making it?" Hey, and that's today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. Why are you making it? Why are you making it? 你为什么要做 Making a cake. Why are you making it? It's a special cake. Why are you making it? It's a birthday cake.、Huh. Why are you making it? I'm making it for you. For me? Yes. Surprise! Happy birthday! <laughs> Surprise! It's not my birthday. Oops. I'll still eat the cake. Why are you making it? Why are you making it? 你为什么要做 ？So why is Susie making fairy bread? She just wants to try it. Oh, okay. Well, so kids in Australia celebrate their birthday by eating fairy bread, right? Yes. Eating special foods is one fun way to show that the day is special. My family does that too, actually. Well, we don't eat fairy bread, but we do have a special breakfast on our birthdays. Ooh, what do you eat? We eat waffles. They're great. Oh, and we also get to choose one dessert that we want mom to make us. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds great. That sounds like a lot of sweet things, though. That's true. It's fun to eat sweet things on your birthday. Like fairy bread, that's sweet too.、Uh, do you want to try it, Pauline? Maybe.、Uh, that's a good question, Garrett. Let's go to Sonia and see if she can tell us more about that question. Susie 问 James 要不要尝一口彩糖面包。Do you want to try? 问句 Do you want to? 意思是你想不想做某事。后面接原形动词。例如 ，Do you want to bike with us? 想来跟我们一起骑脚踏车吗？或是 ，Do you want to see some pictures of my son? 你要不要看看我儿子的照片？我们再举一个例子 
Do you want to see that movie tonight? 你今晚想看那部电影吗 ？Thanks, Sonia. Well, James does not want to try the fairy bread. He prefers birthday cake. Many people do. In the U.S., many people have a birthday cake on their birthday. Cakes are sweet dessert, and you can have lots of different kinds of cake. Yeah, and they are delicious. But in other places around the world, they celebrate their birthdays in different ways. James says that in Chinese culture, people often eat noodles on their birthday.、Mm, that's an interesting way to celebrate your birthday. I wonder why, though. Good question. Maybe we'll find out after the break. Friends, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Let's talk in English. Ten minutes every day. That's the way. Welcome back, friends. Is it your birthday today? Then we want to tell you happy birthday. And if it's not, that's okay too. Today we're talking about many different ways that people around the world celebrate their birthdays. Maybe you can try one of these ways when it is your birthday. That's a great idea. Well, let's go back to Susie and James now to hear more about celebrating birthdays. Why do they do that? The noodles are long. So people eat them and hope for a long life. Interesting. In some countries, people pull the ears of the birthday boy or girl. It's a wish for a happy life. That's fun. And in Mexico, kids hit a piñata. When it breaks, the candy inside falls out. There are many fun ways to celebrate a birthday. So remember, friends. James said that in Chinese culture, people celebrate their birthdays by eating a special kind of noodle called chang shou mian. Interesting, friends. You know what noodles are, right? There are Chinese noodles, Japanese noodles, Italian pasta, lots of different kinds. <laughs> But these noodles James is talking about. Are special birthday noodles. Birthday noodles just sounds funny to me. Why do they do that? Why do they eat noodles for birthdays in China? Well, Pauline, before we get to that, let's practice the question that you just asked with Manya. Here she is. Hey, friends, are you ready for use it? If you want to understand why people do certain things. You can begin your question with the word "why." Start the question with "Why does she?" "Why do you?" or "Why do they?" For example, "Why do they have those clothes?" or "Why do they talk that way?" Hopefully, the answer that you get will help you understand things better. Now it's your turn to make a "why" question. I'm sure you can think of one. Be brave. Go out there and use it. Thanks, Amanya. Oh, and I remember why James says people eat those noodles on their birthday. Ah,、uh, it's because the noodles are long, right? And people eat them to have a long life. So, what happens if you eat short noodles then? Oh. <laughs> Good question.、Uh, I'm sure nothing bad will happen, but eating the long noodles is the tradition. Something people do in Chinese culture, I guess. Okay, like people in our culture eating a birthday cake. That's right. Interesting, huh? Yes, it is. Oh, and hey. That's a word that we use a lot in English, right? Oh yeah, interesting. It means that you think the, what the other person said is a、uh, well, interesting. <laughs> Maybe Sonia can explain this some more. Susie 觉得寿面的概念很有趣。她说 ，interesting 意思是很有趣、很有意思，表示让人感觉有趣的。例如。There is a big nest in this tree. 这树上有一个大鸟巢。Oh, interesting. Oh, 真有意思。或是 
Chinese parents celebrate one month after a baby is born. 华人父母会庆祝婴儿满月 Interesting, 真有趣 Thanks, Sonia. Susie knows about some other interesting birthday traditions. For example, Susie says that in some countries, people pull the ears of the birthday boy or birthday girl. This is a wish for a happy life, I guess. Ooh, ow! That doesn't sound happy at all. It sounds like it hurts. Friends, your ears are these two things. You hear with them. <laughs> yes, but the next thing that Susie talks about is really fun: pinatas. Ooh, I do like those. Pauline, have you ever had a pinata for your birthday? I actually made my own pinata in Spanish class once. Oh, when you were a kid? Ah,、uh, no, when I was in high school.、Uh, friends, a pinata is a Colorful thing, usually shaped like an animal or some other fun shape. <laughs> At some birthday parties, kids hit the pinata with a stick until it breaks. Then candy falls out. Kids get really excited about that part. I know I wasn't a kid when I made mine, but it was still a really fun way to learn about Mexico. Many people make pinatas there for birthdays. That's great, friends. Maybe you can even try making a pinata at home. But before you start on that, let's take a minute to review our keywords together. Here's your first keyword for today: cake. Cake. This cake is very sweet. Noodle. Noodle. I like to eat noodles. Hit, hit. She hit the ball with a bat. Ear, ear. My ears are very small. Wish, wish. His wish for a new car. Didn't come true. All right, friends. Those are your keywords for today. They're very useful, so keep on practicing them. And now let's go back and watch our conversation one more time. Hey, Susie, what are you doing? I'm making fairy bread. What's that? It's bread with butter and sprinkles. Kids in Australia eat it on their birthdays. Oh, why are you making it? I just want to taste it. Do you want to try? No thanks. I prefer birthday cake. In Chinese culture, people often eat noodles called chang shou mian on their birthdays. Why do they do that? The noodles are long. So people eat them and hope for a long life. Interesting. In some countries, people pull the ears of the birthday boy or girl. It's a wish for a happy life. That's fun. And in Mexico, kids hit a pinata. When it breaks, the candy inside falls out. There are many fun ways to celebrate a birthday. <laughs> Look, James, I'm making bread. Bread with sprinkles? Yes, it's called fairy bread. <laughs> Kids in Australia eat it on their birthdays. But it's not my birthday, and this is not Australia. <laughs> ha ha! But I know. I want to taste it. Do you want to try? No thanks. I'll wait until I go to Australia on my birthday. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Besides, I prefer birthday cake and long noodles. Long noodles? Yes, long noodles mean long life. That's an interesting tradition. 
Some people pull your ears on your birthday to wish you a happy life. Ouch! That won't make me happy. Some people hit a piñata. When it breaks, candy falls out. Yay! Can we do that too? Sure. Next time when we're in Mexico on your birthday. Very funny. <laughs> Let's see. What time is it? It's time for me to go home. Oh wait, I can't go yet. I still have one more thing to do. I have a sentence to fix. A special day. Many ways there are to celebrate. Now, how can I start this sentence? There are many ways to start a sentence. I know. I'll start with the words, there are. There are. Now, what should I add next? There are to celebrate? No, no, that's not right. There are a special day. No, that's, that's not right. I know. There are many ways. <laughs> there are many ways. Okay, now what should I add next? I know there are many ways to celebrate. <laughs> there are many ways to celebrate. That's true. There are many ways to celebrate a birthday. There are many ways to celebrate a holiday. I got it. There are many ways to celebrate a special day. <laughs> there are many ways to celebrate a special day. You can celebrate a special day by eating cake. <laughs> you can celebrate a special day by singing a song. You can celebrate a special day by dancing. There are many ways to celebrate a special day. Well, we learned about some really interesting birthday traditions today. Of course, the tradition I am used to is having birthday cake. Oh, and there's another tradition with the birthday cake. I think I know what you're talking about, Pauline. Usually we have candles on top of the cake, and before anyone cuts the cake or eats any of it, the birthday boy or girl needs to make a wish. That's right. So they think of something they want in the next year of their life. So they think about it in their head, they make the wish, and then they blow out the candles. That's right. Well, friends, we'll be talking more about birthdays on tomorrow's show. So we hope you'll join us then, right here on Let's, Let's Talk, Talk in, in English. English. Goodbye. Goodbye.